Hi all! In today's video, I am going to show you the most amazing dragon scale ornaments. They are unbelievable. I was inspired by TS Creations. I saw an Instagram post of these ornaments that she made and I was like, holy cow! Um, she doesn't do any tutorial videos, so I just kind of researched where I could get the materials that she was using and I just kind of on a whim decided I'd try them and they are magnificent. Here is one that I've done already. Super beautiful. The dragon scales are amazing. The rhinestones are glass. They're absolutely beautiful and we're gonna do it. We're gonna just jump in and uh, let's make some ornaments. These are gonna be amazing. Okay guys, let's get started. I have unfinished bisque ornaments and I bought them from Bisque Imports. I will link their website in the description. I think I bought 16 of these this size. So basically they're unfinished, they're like unglazed. They're kind of chalky. So this is the ornament. I have the little stoppers, hangers. They're really nice. They're pretty heavy, so we're gonna make this ornament. This is this one, that's what we're gonna do. The dragon scales. We're gonna do those out of Dawn dishwashing soap and water and some UV resin. So uh, pretty amazing things here. These though, we're gonna do in a pearl blue sky color by Arteza. And then I have some rhinestones that I bought from Flynn Sister Supply Shop. I will link them in the description as well. But this is their exclusive mix and it's called Winter Court. The other ones that I've already made up are, these were the Gatsby mix. So um, yeah, so let's get started. So I have a bowl here. I've just got some distilled water here. Um, you don't have to use distilled water. You can use anything you want. And I am going to probably fill my bowl maybe halfway because I want to be able to have some room for the bubbles. So I want to do the bubbles pretty much all around it. So Dawn dishwashing soap. This is what you're going to use, okay? If you don't have this, I'm sure you can use anything that will make bubbles. I've just got some dishwashing soap in here. You're supposed to do, I think, like one part dishwashing soap to three parts water. I'm not sure. I know I used probably too much last time, but I want enough to make bubbles, so not sure. I'm gonna put it all in there. What the heck? I don't know how much it was, so. We are going to mix this, and I've got a stick. Now your bubbles are gonna come off if you don't have like kind of soapy water on your tools. And I just have some basic little straws here. You can get from the Dollar Tree or any Dollarama if you're in Canada, anything like that. So hopefully we have enough. I'm gonna blow these to make sure that this is what we have and this is what is gonna work. Um, we just want bubbles, so let's see if this works. And then when I go to pick them up, I wanna make sure that I can pick them up and I can move them. Wet my stick here. Your stick needs to be wet. And we can move them. Kind of what needs to be coated with the, with the bubbles. Yep, yeah, we're gonna be good. I'm just gonna leave that in there. Now what I wanna do is I want to put UV resin on my ornament. So I have Let's Resin, UV resin, clear, hard type. Um, I just got this and these came in a kit with my light, with my UV resin light. It's just a little cheap kit that you can buy. I'm gonna put our ornament right here in the middle. Move these out of the way. Let me get some gloves. I don't want to be getting UV resin on my fingers. I'm gonna be kind of moving it around a little bit. So, sorry about that, guys. All right, so now I'm just gonna do this whole section here and lay bubbles over it. So. Okay. 
And I want to just kind of put the resin in that little crease there. And we can like resin over parts we've already resined before if we need to. So just want to kind of get a good, a good coat. I'm at the bottom of this bottle here, so. And when you get the resin on, you'll see that the ornament's gonna change color. It's gonna be like more of a tan instead of off-white. And this resin is gonna stay wet until you uh, put the UV light on it. So don't worry about it drying, because it's not gonna dry. Okay, so now, now we're gonna blow some bubbles. I'm gonna blow my bubbles. I've got pretty many. And we're just going to transfer these bubbles onto the top of the ornament. Like I said, your stick and your straw need to be wet. You want you don't want to pop all the bubbles yet, but you want it on there. So we got our bubbles on here. I want a few more right here in the front. I want a few more right there and a few more on the other side. Oh, okay. All right. So now, before they pop, we're going to UV them for about 90 seconds. Well, I've got it set for 150 seconds, so let's just see what it does. And I'm just holding it because it's not that long. This is going to be really, really cool. You're going to love this. And I'm not doing anything special. We are just letting the resin cure. And as my bubbles pop, I'm going closer with the light. And on parts that don't seem like they're taking, I'm just going to put more resin on them and do them again. This is the neatest thing, which I've seen other people do this on, you know, different things like uh, resin coasters and trivets, um, jewelry, but I've never seen the process on these ornaments so it's pretty neat yeah all right so maybe was 90 seconds or so and I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna wipe this off a little bit show you the, the resin the dragon scales so I'm gonna do that on this whole ornament let's do the other side so I'm just gonna prop that up there I'm going to take the resin, rub it on the parts that I haven't gotten it on yet. Whoop. That's not what I wanted to do, but that's all right. Let's see what I need to do here. All right. So let's blow some bubbles. Try to get a mix of big and small bubbles. That way your dragon scales will be different sizes. I'm going to turn my light on and we're going to UV the resin. Let's add some more just to make sure I'm getting coverage where I need it. And that gives me some smaller bubbles as well. Okay, let's take a look. I've got some places that I don't have them, that I want them. So, strain it off the best I can. And with those spots, I'm just going to come around and see where I don't have it. Like, on this side, I don't have a whole lot of them. So, I'm just going to take and Use my UV. I may need to put like a thicker amount there. Let's try it. Just adding a little bit to each end. 
And I'm just moving my light around. You may have a bigger light um, that you're using and that's fine. I just have this really small one that came with the kit because I really wasn't for sure if I was ever gonna use UV resin, but I'm, I'm beginning to like it a little more. This part and the rhinestone part, because you have to place each rhinestone uh, individually, takes a lot of time, but the rhinestone especially takes like a lot of time. I'm just gonna blow that off and yeah. So I got a little bit more coverage there. Literally can just build it up. Love that. Um, you can see that where I'm going with it, but yeah super super pretty we're just gonna i'm gonna work on it and uh when it's ready to paint i will be back thanks for watching guys stay tuned okay so now we're ready to paint this beautiful ornament and i am going to use a cut off piece of a sponge and i'm going to just take the paint right from the tube and put it on the sponge and i'm literally just going to take the ornament and sponge it going to sponge paint the ornament. What a beautiful color. You can do as many coats of the paint as you want. I'm going to do this one coat and then probably come back tomorrow and do another coat. By the time you see it getting ready for the rhinestones, I probably would have put two coats of paint over it just to make sure it's covered the way I want. And you have to remember that the rhinestones are going to be over the bottom part. I will let this dry today and then I'll probably come back in the morning, do another, the second coat, and then we will start doing the rhinestones. Okay, because I rhinestone on the bottom, I'm going to stick this in this cup. I'm going to stick it in here, kind of like that. Okay, and I'm going to leave that till tomorrow. And I will come back in in the morning and do another coat. And then tomorrow afternoon, I will uh, start the rhinestone process. It takes, if I were to sit and rhinestone the complete thing, it may take me four or five hours to place each individual rhinestone. So uh, it is quite the meticulous project, but it is so rewarding. So I will talk to you guys when we're ready to rhinestone. Okay, so I think we are ready to do some rhinestones. These rhinestones are super, super beautiful. I've used several different products for rhinestones, and these are amazing. Flynn Sister Supply Shop. I will, again, like I said, put this in the description box. Um, and it is the Winter Court. That's an exclusive mix that they put together. So you don't have to worry about what goes with what. They just send this to you already uh, pre-measured at 50 grams and they just put everything that they think should work for this so I am going to just a little bit of that down there we are going to use it's kind of like a, a wax uh, pencil it sticks to the backs of well the tops of the rhinestones really well you just kind of poke it there and then it just picks it up like so and then you can place it on here but for it to stick to this you need glue so I'm just gonna get started okay we are going to just start putting the rhinestones on for that you're going to need some liquid fusion heavy-duty glue um, it's a performance adhesive is what they call it. I bought it on Amazon, Liquid Fusion, and I will link this in my Amazon shop. That Amazon shop link is in my description box. So let's get busy. So this glue, you can, you can put like a section on at a time. So I'm gonna do like this much. And then I'm just gonna take my finger, literally, and I'm just gonna, because if it dries, you can glue over it, but you want it to be a little wet. So. When you take your rhinestones, it's gonna just push down and then put it on the glue. And that's what you're doing for the rest of this ornament. Pushing down, placing on. And if I get the same color, I just kind of randomly put them in different spots. Because you don't want the same color to kind of be in the same, you know, same area. And you can kind of move them if you want. This is basically what we're doing for the next four or five hours. Unless you're better at it than me and you do it faster, but um, 
I'm, I'm not very fast at, at it so as you can see it just takes a while to build it up and if you've learned something that makes it move faster please let me know in the comments but I haven't so yeah I'm just kind of uh, winging it here but I love the result I love 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 the results and as I said we're just building it up it's fun it's a lot of fun and it's super pretty at the end and that's what we're looking for we're looking for super pretty in the end because when the lights from your trees and from your room hit these rhinestones it is just amazing what happens that is just so beautiful right there you can move them around to make them fit a little better it's basically oh my gosh super pretty so that's what we're doing so yeah so now i will speed this up Okay, so we are about almost two hours in and this is what I have so far. You don't want to overwhelm yourself with big sections, so just do small sections at a time. Here's our little stones. Some of those are pretty tiny, so um, just be aware of that. What I do is I just pick up some of the big ones and kind of put them around my the perimeter, you know, of my glue. That way I kind of know where I'm working. And I just kind of um, clean the end of my little wax pencil off at times so that I can kind of grip a little better. So try not to put a lot of the same ones, which you won't because they all come up randomly really when you grab them. Just make sure that you don't have a whole lot of the same clump together. In this mix, usually you have a pretty good selection that you will not have that problem. And if you do, it's fine. Okay, there's another section and I think we have about half of it covered, so. Okay, my friends, I am down to the last little bit. I'm going to um, let you watch me do the rest of this part and uh, then we will tie a bow on it and see what it looks like. Okay guys, um, let this dry. I'm gonna tie a bow on the top and uh, I will be right back. Beautiful.